was going to distract me. And welcome back to Rage. Last time, uh, I did not open my mind. You make loud noises. And we visited Ark. Do stuff. We also did John Marshall's sewer mission. We are working on getting him up level one. So we're gonna get him level five. But should it be that hard of an idea? Um. What are the people here? I only just people here. They already killed him last time. They can. All right. Some fun and go ahead and meet them. I feel like they're best friends. Meet 4,000 meters away. Tower's out of commission. Great. 
They got some precious old world tech in them usually. Salvage what you can. In them? I don't see anything. Like nothing even remotely looking at the storage container. Kinda weird. What is that noise? And the only thing that looks like anything is this thing. Fire hurt. See if I can find anything about Dr. Kvasir here. We're looking for a little city. Bounty. Sure, if we ever get to it, we'll do it. If we ever get to it, we'll do it. And again. Ranger. I haven't seen a ranger in a long, long Mo time. Mo Rummy. Now you have been lost to me. an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist? Real old? Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the Deep Secreto, 
and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Boomers, good. You buying or selling? We don't get many paying customers lately. This all the around. Nelly Boomer, uh, Maxwell, great, proud member thankfully. of the Trade Coalition. This is my store. Hog blockades. <sighs> River hogs. They stop okay, trading in and out. It's affecting our bottom line, but what can I That's do? That's what I was looking for. I got a few for. things still in stock. Take a look. Are these a thousand? Well. I know what I do want to get rid of is, is all of the jewelry. We are always open. Alright, junk taken care of. Oh, he's having a good time. Is that a monster truck? Oh my god, the freaking is that a gunboat? amazing. Alright, where is she at? And if I help, I hit the right button. What the? She's all the way. Ah, stay! Let we shall all crawl at his feet like the pathetic worms we are. I'm talking of the dark night. Uh, wait, Adios. All right. Good old Phoenix. Thank you, Walker. Some of the next vehicle will be a little bit quicker than the last one. I 
came looking for a doctor. Finally, yes. Um. Ow. Take it this. Dr. Anton Kvasir, genius scientist with a shifty past, original archist, pre-Apophis. They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. I'm not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh, it's an impressive setup. Uh, Dr. Kvasir? Kvasir, yes. My lab suffices. Tight legs. <clears throat> My research used to be more mechanically inclined. But over time, the machine, as it turns out, failed. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Irvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead. Oh no, she was formidable. I was always hoping to, but alas, no. It was a massacre, an unstoppable force. Mutants, a new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns, and huge, taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. Him and his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Solutions? I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Prowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, you know, six years or so. Then I will have concocted the nanotrite reprogramming agent, or serum, as I prefer to call it. Whoa, did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot be rushed. Well, yes, it can, with better computing power. But alas, my lab is old and tired. Only the elusive Eco-15, still in orbit, could provide the computing power to speed up this process. The Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a miscalculation. It remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco-15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it, to siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm, yes. It can be done from the Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yeah. Wait a minute. You knew I was going to volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. 